Hey guys, it's Matt Briars and Paul the Reaper. How do you pronounce your last name again? Paul Benashik. Benashik, that's it. Uh, Paul helps us out here at the Soul Fighter Academy, the JSA, uh, working on some Muay Thai uh, concepts and drills that we can use when we're talking about our, our, our TriTac combative systems. Uh, so he's here today to share us a little uh, tips on how to, uh, three tips on how to apply uh, Muay Thai for uh, reality based situations, street fights, street combatives, uh, self defense, etc., etc., etc. So these are your top three tips, staying on the outside, staying on the inside, and then just really getting in those clinch situations that you cannot avoid. So number one is staying on the outside. Let's say you're a taller guy, you wanna stay on the outside, and all fights usually start out here. Maybe you're going against another person that do, does wanna strike with you. Now, I wanna be able to pull back because even if I eat punches on here, I'm still taking damage, so I'd rather not. I'm staying out here, I throw my punch, I throw my cross. As he throws his hook at me, I lean back and I return fire. So this is a nice drill you can do with any of your training partners or students where you get them to throw punches, react to punches, make them miss, and fire back. How I wanna do this is by resetting the hip. If I throw this punch, I land here and he throws at me and I just cover, I'm still eating that power. With bare knuckles in a real situation that could still be very damaging and could still rattle my brain. So I wanna make him miss completely. I hit him here, he swings at me, I reset all the way back to that hip, bang, then I return again. Once again, I land that punch, he throws at me, bang, again. I can do this with any of my punches. I can start with a jab, let's say. He swings at me, boom, I come back in with a jab, a hook, a cross, any of my punches. So this way I'm staying on the outside, I'm taking no damage, and I'm returning fire. So with drill number two, we're kind of getting stuck in this zone. Let's say we're near a wall. I'm not able to really weave out of the way, so I do have to eat this shot. A lot of guys are really uh, might be scared of punches, or they tend to lean away. So if he throws this hook at me, they lean away here. Then they're getting set up for something much bigger that I'm not seeing because I'm turning away from the punch. So it's kind of the same concept of guys not digging their chin. They're getting scared of the punches. Maybe I'll miss the first, make them miss the first one but the second one is knocking me out. So I wanna make sure that does not happen and I turn into these punches. If he throws a hook from that side, bang, I go into it, I brace with my core, I dig my chin down as I react, and then I dig the punch back. Same thing here, before that hook, bang, before his hands come back to his face, I'm able to counter him with my own punch. So anywhere he throws, bang. So as he throws this punch, the thing is, I don't want to just sit here and wait like this. When you're drilling this with your partners and getting used to it, this is your time to get relaxed. So when I go into it, I want to make sure I'm timing it. As it comes, then I use this to almost brush it off. If I just sit there, I still, I still eat the punch. So it's about reacting. Let's say he has a little bit of skill. Maybe he's done a day of boxing in his life. <laughs> then he goes to the body, bang. I'm already down here for the uppercut, so that's the counter for that. It goes bang, 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 and we mix it up. So that's drill number two. Make sure you stay relaxed. Make sure you're not scared of that punch and you're reacting. It'll be the safest way to get out of the situation and put them away. So we're on to number three now, which is real close combat. So at first we're kind of on the outside, countering back, making them miss completely. Here we get stuck in a situation that we cannot avoid and we have to absorb some damage to give some damage. Now let's say we kind of fall into each other as most fights do when they end up on a street or whether it's in the cage or in the ring. So if we end up in this position, 
Like, he has a hold on me. He's very tight. A lot of people practice elbows, but it's very hard to get any kind of power from here. If I try to throw this elbow at him or hit him, he's going to get his up and it jams me up. So I'm not able to fit anything in. So what I need to do is lengthen him out and get control of his wrist. There are two ways to do this. Is I can, I can turn in and play with the wrist here or I can pull away. So I can soften him up, let's say with a knee, I pull back, see that? Now I get control here and I can swipe that down. Now I have control. He can't get his elbow up. It's not strong enough to defend himself from here, bang. So once again, we're here, we're grappling, we're doing whatever we're doing. I get, this, I get that knee in, I pull back, bang, I hit the elbow. Up elbows. Anytime you're in this position where you're on the inside, you do want to work for any kind of inside control, so you're controlling him. Even if it's hugging around me, I'm able to control his body by staying on the inside, and he can't elbow me or strike me. So I land these, this knee, bang. If I'm on the inside, up elbow, boom, up elbow. If I'm on the outside, I have to work for that wrist control, bang, outside elbow. One more time, I'm on the outside, I knee, bang, pull back, elbow right here. I'm kind of pulling him down into me. He gets scared because I pull his weight this way and then I return forward. Oof. So he's kind of stuck right there. So same thing if I get the knee here, I swim underneath, I pull, bang, upwards with the elbow. I pull him right into it. I pull back, bang, and there's the elbow. So those are the top three techniques that I can think of, of using Muay Thai and boxing in a street situation. Thank you, Paul, for uh, helping out. I really like that last one. You pulled me down. Felt that weight. Yeah. Felt that oh, that elbow coming forward. That was me nasty. So I uh, thank you again for uh, giving us some tips. I appreciate it. And guys, uh, what's your website again? MuayThaiAthlete.com for the best tutorials, articles out there. We're also coming out with a boxing guide for any of you guys that want to implement boxing into Muay Thai or mixed martial arts. You're on Facebook too, right? Facebook.com slash Muay Thai Athlete, at Muay Thai Athlete, on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all the social media outlets. Hey guys, please give him a look, look him up. Uh, he's got a lot of cool shit out there. Uh, definitely will plug into any combatives, or if you're just a Muay Thai fan like myself, uh, some cool shit. Thanks guys. Well, thank you.